Hey, it's Sergi and welcome to the Safety Fellowship Podcast. For safety talks, safety blogs, safety articles, safety learning and awareness, and all other safety subject matters, log on to safefellow.com. Come on, let's talk safety. Hey, welcome. And today's topic is everyday used as others materials and waste disposal the improper disposal of our everyday used as others materials and waste products can cause health safety and environmental problems humans must recognize dangerous substances used daily and know how to safely handle use and dispose of them for the well-being of all and the environment. On today's podcast, we're going to cover the definition of hazardous material, types of everyday hazardous material, how to dispose everyday used hazardous waste products, and the general safety for hazardous material. So, what is hazardous material? A material is categorized as hazardous if it can harm human health and the living environment. Occupational Safety and Health Administration, that is OSHA, states hazardous material as any substances that are physical or health hazards. An example of an everyday hazardous material is present in every household, regardless of the status quo, either rich or poor. An example of everyday used hazardous products are kitchen and bathroom cleaners. Everyday household cleaning products at our homes are safe if used appropriately. However, household cleaning materials can become hazardous if used, stored, or disposed of against the label's instruction, that is, the safety data sheets. So, what are the types of everyday used hazardous materials? While there are nine classifications of hazardous materials, on this podcast today, we're going to talk about the four most common used hazardous products at every household. And the number one hazardous material we're talking about today is the oxidizers and the organic peroxides. These materials can instantly react with other substances, causing heat and explosions. Oxidizers on itself is non-combustible. However, it can contribute as an oxygen to a burning element. And examples of the oxidizers and organic peroxides at our homes includes the washing detergents, and the hydrogen peroxides. The number two most used everyday hazardous materials are the corrosive substances. These materials are highly reactive substances that can cause apparent damage to living tissues. Corrosives damage other substances with which they come in contact through a chemical reaction. Examples of corrosive materials are our bathroom and the toilet cleaners. It also includes um, the automobile battery. And the third most common hazardous used material at every household are the toxins and infection substances. These materials can cause illness, serious injury or death to humans if either inhaled, swallowed, or by skin contact. And examples of these substances include the pesticides, 
and the paints. The pesticides are common. And the fourth most common use as other materials at every household are the flammables. It can either be solids or liquids. These materials are volatile. They can evaporate quickly, ignite, and they can continue to burn if exposed to air and ignition sources. Examples of this material humans experience every day are the cooking oil, our lighter, matches, and the nail polish. Other everyday hazardous materials such as cardboard, disinfectant, papers, and electronic materials should also be watched closely. Ensure to read and follow product labeling instructions carefully. That is the safety data sheet that comes with the product. Hence, you are aware of any dangers. Knowing how to dispose of them properly is imperative. So, how do we dispose our everyday used as adult materials? Improper disposal of our everyday used materials as other material and waste products can cause health, safety, and environmental problems. Adopting and following these recommendable ways of disposing the materials and waste products will provide a safe environment for all. Number one is to read and follow the label instructions that is the safety data sheet that comes with the product. There are no better ways to dispose of a product or material than referring to the manufacturer's recommendable ways that come in a sheet form with the material itself. The product manufacturer knows the preferable ways to dispose of is, are, or they products Ensure to read and follow product labeling instructions carefully for the well-being of yourself, the handler, and the environment in totality. The second way of disposing as others material is reducing the use and recycling as others products. Reducing as others material usage will reduce as others material present in our landfills. The more hazardous substance we use, the more waste we will produce. The United States Environmental and Protection Agency, that is EPA, EPA, recommend and encourages everyone to take all unwanted dangerous substances or materials to a local recycling agency either the materials used or unused. Recycling what we can reuse to generate a new items will keep our environment clean of waste and toxic substances. And to find your local recycling agency, you could utilize the F911 website. And the F911 website is www f911.com that is e a r t h 9 as in number 911.com to locate your local collection agency with available time and dates or better yet you could research and call the environmental protection agency itself on the outline for proper disposal of your hazardous products. So let's talk about the general safety in regards to hazardous material. And the number one safety tips in regard using hazardous material is to read label instructions. Read the safety data sheet. Read the instruction labels and safety data sheet carefully before handling and using any hazardous material. 
and the second general safety tips in regarding the use of hazardous material is to utilize your PPE, utilize your personal protective equipment, PPE. Whenever you are handling and using dangerous substances, it is always a good idea to wear your protective equipment, such as your gloves, mask, goggles, boots, anything to protect yourself as the handler. And the third general safety tip in using storing as others material is to clean yourself thoroughly after each use. Always remember to wash your hands properly or your body thoroughly. If a material requires you to take a bath after touching, using it, do so. And the fourth general safety tips in regarding hazardous material is never to mix materials together. Avoid mixing hazardous substances. Only mix compatible toxic substances and only perform this mixture if you well trained. Heat and explosions may occur in the mixture of some substances. And the final, the fifth general safety tips in regarding hazardous material is the disposal of the products. Proper handling and disposing of hazardous material is in the best interest of all, especially you, the handler. So for you to dispose properly, you have to refer back to the labeling, that is the safety data sheets. And the bottom line for this podcast for today is we as humans must recognize dangerous substances used daily and how to safely handle, use and dispose of them for the well-being of all and the environment. This concludes our podcast for today. Please share, like, and subscribe. My name is Soji. Thank you. Bye. For safety talks, safety blogs, safety articles, safety learning and awareness, and all other safety subject matters, log on to safefellow.com. Come on, let's talk safety.